Magnum Opus. Right. So this is Project Peacock. I've read your papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. Uh, well, I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Uh, uh, Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more uh, extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed, but with the proper Theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt the Skullgirl's essence. Hey, Gramps, shut it! I'm busy here. Tch, look at her. Oh, the Avery unit is admittedly a bit less well understood. Oh, we designed it to be a spatial link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but oh, she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it! Let's get into the good part! To think that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat this Skullgirl once and for all. Everybody, 
history. No sense in bumping gum. But it just don't stop, don't stop. The Gorilla Fate is yearning. Showtime! Maple Shot. Maple Top. Retirement. Oh, yeah, no, it's a Beowulf. Ah! Hold it, everyone! We've got a message coming in from Dr. Avi! Coming, Doc! Take your hand! Lab, we're a car! The lab's under attack! The Doc's in trouble! Too late! Whoever it was, they really did a number on the lab! <sighs> Patricia! Did you hear that? I think I heard Doc Avian. Mm -hmm. Dr. Uh, Avian! Who, who did, did this to you? Lab Zero. Valentine betrayed us. She let the Skull Girl in. Which one? They fled to New Meridian. Follow, but make sure the others are safe. Meridian. I know Meridian. you can... Protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Stalker. Ah, jeez. He's gone, boss. <laughs> Guys, oh, get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make. Ah, oh, boy. We have fight now. Squawk! I see her, boss. The school girl is right over there. So quick. Wait, it can't be! <sighs> oh no, no, no! Marie! Too early! She's the Skull Girl? Too early, too early, too early! I'm sorry, my child, but your reunion with Marie will have to wait. She has important business to attend to in the Grand Cathedral. Mm. Another peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me! Hey. Extinct! Uh, Enough! Avian's legacy ends now. Am I gonna fight double? Yeah, I'm gonna... Ladies and gentlemen, it's... Showtime! <laughs> Oh, 
chop that bum deer, man. Hello, nurse! Nice. nice place you got here, by the way. <laughs> so, Lab 8's ultimate weapon finally arrives. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry. I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skullgirl. And you let her right to us! As though I'd explain myself to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that's what we did. Mm. You really think I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive, nurse? I don't think you have a choice. Uh, I'll admit you were almost an interesting opponent. But, infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness, you're nothing more than garbage. Oh, what Double? It's time Lab 8's final experiment came to an end. Squawk! We'll show you weakness, lady! We are gonna murderize you. Time to die, traitor! Yeah, what they say. We're sending you straight to hell for what you did to the doc! I'll cut you down to size. Time to put on a show. Action! Target! <laughs> oh, even... oh. Ready for your shots? You should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh, please! Don't worry about you! Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine! And I was created to stop you! There's no way you can beat me! So of course I'm worried about ya! Look, Patricia. You will understand. Yes. Evil. From the slave traders of Ramograd to their patrons, the Medicis. All must perish. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. Uh. It must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. One of these days, You'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys! Or worse. Or worse! You leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull heart right out of you! That's so well, let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over, okay? Beat him up, guys! 
Blaze! Action! You stood up for us, and I ran. When I found the Skull Heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. We're good. You'll always be my friend. Got it? That makes me... happy. Tell you what. I'll pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, saved the day, and it's rerun season, I don't have much to do. So why not? Well, that, and bloodying those Mafia fools sounds like a hoot. That would be wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you, Patricia. It was, it was good, good seeing you. One last, one time. last time. So, the rumors were true. 
Geiger's resorted to experimenting on children now. My, how the mighty have fallen. Granny, Granny. I don't want to rush you, but let's get this over with already. I've been slaughtering your goons all night. I'm missing my stories, and I need my beauty. Then let me tuck you in for your final bedtime. That's the end. So I played through a story mode with with Peacock, the one Why character I thought I wouldn't understand so well. Just feel proud of myself. Day that didn't go your way. Well, don't you make a side. Just take my hand, don't toss and turn. Let's just lie awake in just a moment's time. All right, everyone. So. Thank you very much for sticking around. dropping by and welcome back so this has been Ryan Bohan I'll see you next time